Hey guys, and welcome back to HM Innovations. Today we have a cool project. It's called the PC Mouse Robot. And you can visit our website at hm-innovations.com for additional projects. You're going to need a USB cable uh, mouse or any type of mouse that you have that has a cable. And opening the bottom of the mouse is actually pretty simple as long as you find the hidden screws. Once you find the screws, you can go ahead and unscrew that and take the upper layer of your mouse apart by just pulling it, up, pulling it upwards. And this is how it's going to look. So go ahead and remove the flywheel assembly by pulling on this tab on the side. That releases the assembly altogether. And this is how it's going to look once it's completely removed. We're then going to grab the mouse circuit board and we're going to remove the USB connector. Save that on the side because we're going to use it later on. And now we're going to focus on the switches. Now we have the right and left clicker and we have to make sure that we know where those connections are going to be on our clicker. So on our clicker we have those on the very, very outer edges. So as you can see here, these are the two for the right and these are the two for the left. Now we're going to go ahead and start salvaging some parts from this mouse. Uh, the primary things that we want are the LEDs and the LED holder that we're probably going to use for our next project. And they're actually pretty bright. And this LED holder is actually pretty cool. So we're going to save that and put it on our storage box. Now using our uh, helping hand station, we're going to go ahead and we're going to solder our switches together. And I'll show you how that works out. The inner switches are going to be connected together using a jumper cable. Then we're going to go ahead and add a 9-volt battery to the outside two connector leads of our switches and they will look something similar to this. That's the soldering connections at the end as you can see here. We're then going to add extra long cables and they're going to be our extensions for the motors. And we're going to make sure that that goes through the inner assembly for the where the flywheel used to be. So we'll put that through there. Now next we're going to have to add extensions for the inner connectors. So using uh, green cables, we're going to go ahead and we're going to connect two cables to the inside of our connectors, as you can see here. One is going to go to the left and one to the right. And we'll fit that through the flywheel hole as well. This is because everything is going to be on the opposing end of our motor, the battery and both of the motors. So we'll show you how this is going to look in a minute. Now this works pretty simply by uh, switching one of the switches on and off. So if you press a switch, it causes one motor to stop and it causes the other motor to spin two times as fast. So when a robot hits the wall, it'll spin around and go the opposing direction. Next, we're going to grab the base of our mouse and we're going to sand everything down on the inside and we're going to break everything off so our circuit board fits perfect inside of this new uh, base. And this is how it's going to look once we add the 9 volt battery. So let's go ahead and grab a the USB connector that we saved from earlier. And we're going to give this mouse a tail. So you're going to cut off however long you want your tail to be. And you're going to hot glue it to the rear end of your mouse. And it's going to look something similar to this. Now these motors came from an old typewriter style printer and they have a spring at the very end which is going to be great for this project so we just have to drill a small hole on the side for our motors to go in and we're going to do two, one on the left and one on the right and this is how they will look and you can also see the inside of our mouse has already been sanded down and that's what we were talking about earlier so let's go ahead and see if our motors still fit inside of our new holes and if it does then everything's good to go put your circuit board back inside and hot glue the motors in place. You're going to do this to both motors, one on the right and one on the left, and this is how it looks. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to install an on and off switch onto our board. This is how it looks after the switch has been installed, and it's going to fit right in the center of our assembly. Now here is how the whole soldering connector is going to go. The negative lead of our battery will be going to the right motor on the positive lead of the motor. The positive lead 
of our battery will be going to our left motor on the positive lead of the motor. The right clicker is going to go onto the left motor's negative lead and the left clicker is going to go over the right motor's negative lead. So once you have all of that taken care of, you need to add some wheels to your mouse. And you do this by adding hot glue to the very end of the motor metal extension part. And using your fingers, you can go ahead and turn it into a small ball to, so you can have some uh, traction for your little mouse to be grabbing onto the ground or wherever you have your surface. And you can turn on the switch and test it out and make sure that the motors are going in the same direction and everything is working properly. So once you turn on the switch, you can see that the mouse is ready to go. And all you have to do now is put the lid back on top of the mouse and add some whiskers for your mouse made out of paper clips and test it out. Once you let go of it, it starts going all over the place and if it bumps into something, it'll turn back around and it'll find its way around the floor. Well, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Visit our website at hm-innovations.com.